Yo, what's up guys? I'm 7 Beats and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily mix and master an Afro beat. If you're interested in how I've made this beat, make sure to check out my tutorial. The link will be right here or right here. Also make sure to download my free Afro beats drum kit. The link will be in the description and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So first I'm going to make sure my instruments are leveled the right way. So I'm going to start with my drums. So I'm going to cut out some unneeded low frequencies. So from this tom, so around 50 hertz. And the same with this one. So just cut off the low frequencies from the snares. And right now I'm going to use some stereo panning techniques. So I think I'm going to pan my snares to the left and some oral elements to the right. So just pan these to the left, right, like this. Pen this tom to the right. Just a little bit. And also pen the shaker to the right because the tom has some low frequencies and the shaker some high frequencies. So I think this already sounds really good and I'm going to add the next element. So I'm going to solo my drums and add the loop which contains some percussions and I'm going to play them together. So this one is just in the middle, but a little bit to the right. So I think I've separated all my elements and I'm going to listen if it fits really good into my mix as it is. So I think it sounds all right. And I'm going to make some adjustments to my melodies. So first I'm going to start off with the guitar. So this part. And as you can see, I've already linked the elements to a bus channel right here, to my guitar bus. And I've used some EQ, some reverb. And I've used this love filter to use a cutoff filter automation right here, this one. And right here, I've just added some high and mids. And on my bus channel, I've just added a compressor just to blend together the sounds. Just a little bit. And I'm going to add another EQ. Just reduce some low frequencies, but not too much. And right now I'm going to use some stereo imaging on these sounds. So I'm going to make sure my top melody is on the sides and my chords are just a little bit in the middle. So I'm going to add this dynamic IQ and I'm going to use this stereo control preset. select the side right here so 
something like this so you can already hear the melody is on the side and I'm going to make sure my chords are in the middle so just make sure the low frequencies are on mono So right now these elements are separated and right now I'm going to make sure my pad is just on the side so it could be a fulfilling sound. So I think this one already sounds really good. So when the guitar chords are coming in the pad is still on the side and the guitar chords are just more mono so that's also really good. And then the plug chords are coming in. to loop this one So I'm just going to keep it this way and we have this clap so, and right now I'm going to use some panning on my melodies. So these are my guitar and my guitar chords. So pan this one to the left and to the right. 6% so just one time scrolling and these are my melodies. So my pad and my plug melody. I'm going to pan this one 12% to the left and this one 12% to the right. So you can't really hear the difference, but I think this will give some really nice results in the end. As you can see, I've already used some sidechain animation. So I've created this sidechain animation clip. So you can do this by just dragging in your kick, so like this. Just place it right here or some, somewhere what you want and just create this envelope. So this is a volume envelope from my 808. You can do this by going to your channel rack, right mouse button right here, and just create animation clip. And just drag a line like this. So just around your kick. So this will make sure when your kick is playing, the 808 will be quiet. So I think I should reduce some low frequencies of this 808. So I'm going to use this. And I've just cut off the unwanted frequencies. So otherwise it will sound like this. You can also set the 808 to mono, but I've just but I just prefer to do it this way.
so I think this already sounds really nice and right now I'm going to get into the measuring process so make sure you just loop the loudest part of the track and just start with a clean measuring channel but as you can see I've used this fruity balance right here but it's just to lower the volume at the end of the beat so first I'm gonna start off by opening up the glue it's just a simple compressor you can also use the fruity compressor but I prefer this one and I'm just going to compress a little bit like this just a little bit and after that I'm going to cut off the peaks so I'm going to use this so I'm going to use this Pro C just a really fast attack and a really fast release so I'm basically just limiting this beat but it's still using a compressor. And after that, I'm going to use some sidechain compression. And I'm going to set this one to around 1300 Hertz. So like this, and this will just compress the frequencies above 1300 Hertz. sounds really good and right now I'm going to use the ozone 8 just start with a clean ozone 8 and first we're going to open up an imager and we're going to make sure all the low frequencies are on mono so drag down this one this exciter and just add some width right here by using this preset and right now you can add some more compression or what you like but I'm just going to use the maximizer enable the true peak I uh, like to prefer the IRC3, this one. I use the balance, set my ceiling to 0 0.1 dB and just maximize my beat.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was really helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and see you guys in one of my next tutorials.